now we're looking at uh, breath orgasms. I mean, this sounds fascinating, but it is actually quite an amazing thing. Uh, when you're dealing with the sexual addiction, you'll obviously find that um, you will have dreams, and in your dreams you will be, you will end up fucking in strange ways, having orgies, all kinds of stuff that is sexually based. And if you look at the practicality of it in the physical, it is like impossible. You can't do the kind of stuff you can do in your dreams. That's why it's called dreams. So make sure that your waking dream, that means when you're aware and thinking, is not like your sleeping dream, which is like impossible in the physical, because then you are not only having an, uh, a dream world, you also have a possessed world. Now, on a breath orgasm, as when I was facing this point, I would breathe. The, the point is building up physically within, and you are now feeling like you need an orgasm, you want to masturbate. And then, if you don't, a knot is formed, because you are not all <laughs> masturbating, so you're forming knots in your body, which is quite uncomfortable in the neck and the shoulders, all kinds of places you're forming knots. It turns into pains great physical discomfort. So I started looking at the whole point, it's really simplistically, what is really going on is that you are building up energy that is forming like a, a, you know, it, it forms, it comes together at specific points in your body which you experience then as physic, physical points that makes a physical knot in the muscles. Because, I mean, they are, there's a lot of energy there. So I then distribute the energy throughout the body through breathing equally to all cells. Just what would happen in a perfect orgasm where you share the experience with your whole body, all cells. I just breathe, every breath distributing the buildup of this energy to the cells. And fascinatingly enough in that you will end up experiencing a breath orgasm which is extended, magnificent, you can even lie down and have the breath orgasm, and the knot won't be there because it's not that you are not doing, having a uh, masturbating, you're now giving the physical its required sharing in the good things in life, which is what we believe it to be, the masturbation and the sex. So, and you're doing it without compromising the point through utilizing various tools to stimulate the body into an orgasm. It is a natural expression of the distribution of the energetics within. And through that you will develop effective self-willed directive power when it comes to desires. And within that Breathe, focus on the energy, no imaging. If there's imaging, then you're going to go want to go back to wanting to masturbate. You've got to focus on just distributing the energy equally. And in that, while you're at it, have a meeting with your body, with all your cells, in which you're thanking all the cells for their cooperation and making your experience possible. You do forgiveness on the points where you have not considered all of them equally, and you'd have like a nurturing meeting, you know, where you just come to an agreement in terms of your process again to become effectively self-willed as life equally here. And you start that with an equal relationship that you develop within yourself and all your cells as one, as equal here. Because each one of your cells in itself is also an individual. So unless you can get that relationship sorted out, you're going to be in conflict and eventually your cells will reject you as the master consciousness of this greater entity universe, which is the physical body. So, the breath orgasm is a wonderful tool in which you can develop effective communication with your physical body without masturbating. Okay, you're now actually master breathing, which is a different form of masturbation. Quite fascinating. Have fun with it.